He called his name Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Matthew presents Jesus as a king, the king of the Jews. And the book begins with the genealogy of the king. Every king has to have a genealogy. The ancestry of a king is the most important thing about him. His right of kingship is based on his royal lineage. And Matthew traces the ancestry of Jesus from Abraham to Joseph, who was his stepfather. Joseph was in the royal line of King David. So that's the family tree. And when we look at say, Matthew chapter 1, we see you know, the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. And verse 6 says, And Jesse begot David the king, and the king and David the king begot Solomon of her that had been wife of Uriah. And verse 16 said, And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So we see here in scripture that Jesus, the king of the Jews, really indeed as a rich heritage. Hallelujah. At this Christmas time, I would like to remind us that Jesus, the King of the Jews, is the reason for the seasons. It is his birth we are celebrating. You know a story so of a little boy who um, saw his mother you know, and you know, his father were preparing her at Christmas time and they had the cake and the sorrel and everything was prepared and the music and the singing and everything. And when it was over, he said, but mom, where is the baby? And so many times we have go about at Christmas time and we do everything, even as Christians, and we forget, we forget about Jesus Christ, the real reason for the season. The streets are filled with shoppers, persons are trying to get a gift maybe for themselves or for loved ones or for neighbors, somebody. And there is excitement in the air, we must get something. But over 2,000 years ago, mankind received a most precious gift in the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And this was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah many centuries before. And in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6, it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. And in chapter, um, the, the Matthew chapter 1 reminds us, verse 21, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. The gifts we receive or give are usually nicely packaged, you know, nice ribbons and nice bows and gift wrap papers. And nowadays we have gift bags, lovely gift bags, right? So that was how, that's how, how you know, the gifts are packaged. But I want to remind us that when this gift came, that was not the case. This was not the case of the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. Because Jesus came from lowly parentage. A very young Jewish girl and her carpenter fiancé. That was how she came. No excitement about his birth. None. He came. And I'm going to invite Javon. Javon, please come. Javon Robinson to come. Come here a little bit. Because I have a gift for him. I have a friend in this there this morning, and she knows that I don't like to carry scandal bag, especially. Uh, yeah, and I'm coming from the supermarket. But this morning, I have a gift for Siobhan. Siobhan, do you like a gift? It's Christmas Day. I have a gift for you. All right, she said yes. And this is my gift. This is my gift. You like this gift? You do? I wouldn't like it enough because I don't like what it's presented. You know? I like this. 